Hello, today let's solve this integral. This integral is very important because it's a very useful tool to deal with the harmonic number and the digamma function. I will make videos on the harmonic number and the digamma function in the future, and we will frequently use this result. And note here, this logarithm function is divergent at 1, so we can't do the integral by part directly. Later, we will deal with this upper limit by some tricks, so let's get started. First, record the Maclaurin series for the logarithm function. Note for the convergent interval, it's open at 1. Then we replace the logarithm function by this series. And we put this term inside the series. Note here. Because this series is divergent at 1, we can't switch the sum and the integral, so we need to use some tricks. First, we introduce a parameter a, and a is less than 1. Then we write the integral into this way. Because this logarithm series is uniformly convergent on this close the interval from 0 to a, we can switch the sum and the integral. So we got here. And then we take the 1 over k out of the integral. This integral is simple, so we just integrate it. We plug in the lower and upper limit. Note here, because this coefficient series is convergent, we can use Abel's theorem. So we can put the limit inside the series. After taking the limit, we got here. Then we do the partial fraction and write it into this way. I copy it here. For this term, I list here. And I also list this term here. And then we take the subtraction. So they cancel out. And we left with this term. So I copy it here. And then we write it into a compact form. So we got to the final answer. Here is the bonus part. When I solve this integral, I also found another smart way. You can try it, and I will make another video on that method. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like.